Hello guys and welcome back. Ron here with I Got You Fight. Today we'll be going over how to install, install the Chisholm build onto your Apple TV 4 and in general just the Kodi system. First thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate up to that uh, gear icon up the top and we're going to go ahead and navigate over to File Manager. From here we're going to go to Add Source and here we're going to input HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Demetrology.com forward slash repo. All right, from here you can go down and just rename it Demi, leave it as repo, or put whatever you want. You can also add Chisholm, um, but I'd label it uh, Demi or Demetrology so that you know exactly what it is. Go ahead and press OK. All right, from here we're going to go ahead and exit back out, and then we're going to go to My Add-ons. So go ahead and scroll down to My Add-ons, or Add-ons, and then navigate up to that little box, and select. You're going to get this pop-up uh, when trying to install zip files. So when you click the first time on your first on your uh, first on this device, or every time you're installing for the first time, you click install from zip file. You're going to get this pop-up that says. Uh, you need to trust unknown sources, so you just go ahead and go over to settings. And right here, unknown sources, go ahead and allow, select yes. All right, we're going to go back to install from zip file. Okay, we're going to select it, and we're going to select our source. In this case, for ours, it's going to be Demi. All right, here we're going to go down to the fifth selection down, which is Demi TV, plugin.video.demi TV. And we're going to install it. I'm going to wait for it to say installed. You're going to wait a couple seconds. There you go. Demetrology TV has been installed. All right. Now from here, we're going to go up to my add-ons. All right. For my add-ons, you're going to go over to program add-ons. So all the way to, uh, fit from the bottom. And you're going to select Demetrology TV. Okay. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind, uh, you need to do now is you're going to go ahead and open it. And we're going to go to settings. From at this point, I would pause the video and go over to the link below, uh, which is the DemetrologyTV.com forward slash get code. Uh, so you can get your, cur your current code. And I'm sorry, it's Demetrology.com forward slash get code uh, so you can get your current code. Once installed, you're going to see that the menu options have changed and this will tell you install build is none, account type free. So here we're going to select install and update. All right. And here we're going to select the second choice down. This is the, the easiest build. I think for um, starters, uh, I think it'll, you'll find it that it comes with a lot of features that you'll enjoy. So here, I would definitely recommend installing the Chisholm TV build all in one, just because it comes with a couple of builds in one. Um, and you can go over our reviews to see um, which one you think you'll enjoy best. But for this uh, example, we'll install uh, the all-in-one, and we'll uh, go ahead and select the Confluence skin, which I believe is um, most familiar for most people uh, that already uh, used uh, Cody before in the past. Uh, and if you're new, I think it'll, you'll find it to be the easiest. But this build pretty much comes with six builds in one. And you'll be able to easily navigate through, select movies, TV shows, live TV uh, at the east uh, very easily. Uh, from your On your Apple TV, Fire Stick, uh, whatever your uh, platform of choice is for using coding. So we're just going to let this uh, install. Obviously, I fast forward this portion here so it can go a little bit faster. Uh, but once it's installed, uh, what we're going to do is just uh, go ahead and reset the platform, um, restart it, and then, uh, or reset Cody, I mean, and then we're going to go ahead and select our new skin, which is going to be the Confluence skin. So let's take a look at that. All right, now that we're on the install process, it's complete. All right, so you can see, skin, you need to go ahead and select the skin you desire. Uh, just to make sure that it's installed properly, I'm going to go ahead and exit out to the front. 
make sure I exit out of Kodi and go ahead and restart. All right, from here, I'm going to go over to our settings menu, gear icon, and we're going to come down to our interface settings. Go over to skins. All right, select. And here, we're going to select the Confluence skin. So as you can see, you have a couple of choices here. Uh, but for everybody that's starting out, I would definitely select the Confluence skin uh, just for the ease of use. Uh, once you get used to it and know how to play around, then you can start using some of the other ones. But go ahead and check out uh, some of our reviews regarding some of the skins that come in this build uh, to see which one you'll be most comfortable with. I'll do a thorough review of each one of them. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks, guys, and see you next time.